Hey, espresso and coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Look what I have. It's a Barazza Sette 270WI. And in a minute, I'm going to take you to the Specialty Coffee Expo. I was there a couple weekends ago where I spoke with Kyle Anderson of Barazza. He's going to tell us all about what's new with a 270WI. Now, it's not available quite yet. I've got a sample version. We're going to take a deep look at this soon. Um, also coming up, look, I want you to subscribe to the channel. Just click the little coffee bean down there. Real easy to subscribe. Turn on your notifications because coming up, I'm going to have more from the Specialty Coffee Expo, including products from Rocket Espresso, Profitec and ECM Espresso Machines, BWT Water Filters, Technivorm, Breville, and a whole lot more. So just click that bean and subscribe. Now, let's get out to the show again. I'm going to talk with Kyle Anderson of Barazza on what's new with the Barazza Sete and the 270 WI. Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Kyle Anderson from Barazza um, at the Howdy. SCA show. And Kyle, you've got the 270 WI. Tell us about this grinder. Well, uh, some of you may know about the 270 W. It's our weight-based grinder in the Sete family. And um, the 270 W is uh, uh, it, it, it's a tricky it's a tr tricky bit of engineering to make it work. And the WI basically takes the W and improves on it. Okay. Uh, we work closely with Akaya, who builds our uh, load cell technology. And one of the things we've done is, uh, is to help the W work in an imperfect world. Okay. You know, little bumps, you've got a roommate, you've got, you've got the, the guy down the hall that stomps on the floor. Things like that can upset a grinder uh, that's, that's trying to measure within a tenth of a gram. I mean, it's pretty amazing to get within a tenth of a gram, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's you really, know? really cool. And, and, and what we shoot to do, I mean, obviously we'd like to be spot on, but what we, what we commit to is, is plus or minus two tenths of a gram. So if you want 18, you're going to get 18.2 or 17.8. You're going to, that, that's the widest range is okay. what we're looking for. Um, but you were, t you were just telling me before we started here about how the grinder kind of learns. It as does. You use so it, it. it uh, the the WI has the, the the I means intelligent or in in uh, and and what's different about that is that it it has a predictive uh, element to it where based on the flow rate the uh -huh. the rate at which like whether it's three and a half grams a second like for espresso right or five and a half grams a second if you're doing filter coffee it. Um, it measures the flow rate, and then based on that flow rate, it knows how early it needs to turn the grinder off to hit your... You're because doing if you want 18 grams, you can't wait till you got 18 grams in here and it, then turn the grinder off. Because there's still stuff falling through. Because it's still turning. <laughs> right, and so right. we, need to, we need to predict when to turn it off. So we do it both with a predictive uh, uh, looking forward, and then we always look back historically at the end of a, uh, end of a, a shot or a grind. A grind you know, if you've asked for 18 and you got 17.6, it looks back on that and then it automatically adjusts the offset. On the W, you have to go in and, and actually go into the programming and set that. Okay. Here, it's always learning. Either, and okay. and it's, it's always doing the predictive thing and it's always doing the look back thing. So um, it makes the grinder really good for doing, uh, we, we recommend that like the preset number one might be for espresso. Uh -huh. And preset number two might be for filter, okay? okay. And the offset that is memorized in the machine is tied to the preset. Okay. So if you're in this preset and you're doing espresso and you want to go from 18 grams down to 15 grams, your, your offset, mm -hmm. the point at which the grinder stops, doesn't have to change. It's a function of the grind. The, the grind size. The grind size. Right. And because that has to do with the speed at which it's coming out. So anyway, we recommend that you, you use the preset uh, for a given grind setting. Okay. All right. The dose you can move around and it'll still hit that, uh, the desired Because it, it kind of, so it's learning within that preset. So right. So and it, it memorizes it in three that. different locations. Okay. These different locations will each have a different offset in terms of when the grinder stops. Okay, Kyle, so can we get a demo here? Well, what it's a little do? difficult, but here we go. Well, we're within a tenth of a gram, 18.4. That's pretty nice, and it's, it's just gonna continue to learn the more we grind. Yes, and, and, kinda... and it, it, it keep, if you switch the beans, uh -huh. um, that will also affect the offset, and it will learn that as well. You don't need to go in and, and change anything. So you're really accurate, but just as you grind more, you're gonna get more accurate. Yes, yes, yes. if you yes. change the, yes. the bean type or something, that might take a little learning. Yeah, yeah. and let me show you, so we've, yeah. sh we've shown you this in a portafilter mode, yeah. but the grinder is also available for uh, grinding direct if you have like a large Chemex or something like mm -hmm. that. 
you can grind into the bin. The bin is then supported by the same arms mm -hmm. and uh, not touching the bottom, and then, so we can grind into the bin. Okay. So, um, and again, because the grinder tears automatically, you know, even though we have a very different weight on this bin than that, um, we're within two tenths. Okay. Okay. So it's so, and you've got three presets. You've got where you can now just bump it a little bit if you want. Yes. Yes. Um, adjustable porta filter holder. Yeah, adjustable. And then we have uh, the macro setting here, mm -hmm. which is for changing from like espresso over to filter. Uh, and then the micro adjustability here, which allows you to really fine tune an espresso. So uh, an entire sweep of this is equal to one click on this. So it allows you to really fine tune. And of course, because we're grinding straight through, super low retention. So, right, right. Um, and it's also a grinder, right, that if you're, if you're going from like espresso to drip or something, you can get back and forth real quick. You can. The repeatability you know? on this is, is the best of any grinder we produced in and terms then, of going back and forth between grind settings. And for like, you know, for, you know, people are going to use this at home, is this now what you consider to be your top end for espresso grinding or is, is that hard to say? Well, I, I don't know. You know, the, you know, the I, for home use, yeah. yeah. I, I think that the, the Forte is, uh, is an awful expensive grinder for home use. but. You know, I mean, people spend more than that for home grinders, we know. They do. They do. But uh, for espresso, the, the, uh, the quality of the shot from this is just amazing. All right. Yeah. All, All right. right, Kyle. Thanks so All much. Right. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.